Hey guys, for sake of reality here, today we're going to be integrating our advanced ladder climbing system in Survival Game Kit version 2. There are a few differences in this one specifically for our rotation and uh, input movement for up and down that we have to look into. That differs from the blank integration, so we'll go over that in this tutorial as well. So without further ado, we'll get into that. First thing you're going to want to do is open up a copy of survival game kit. I'm using version 4.26 so my ladder climbing is in 4.23 but it'll work fine migrating it up to a, to a newer version as long as you're not migrating it to an older version. So you want to go to your survival game kit and go to your project settings and in your collision you want to add a new trace channel and set that to ignore and call this ladder with a capital L and accept. And that's all I need to do right there for this moment. Now we can come into our ladder climbing system, right click and migrate the, the files. And you want to go to your ladder climbing system folder. And in the content folder, you want to select that. It should only take a second. And once we have this done, we can now begin retargeting our animations. So we will go into our demo, character meshes for our ladder climbing system, and open up the, the skeletal mesh. Select Humanoid, and if you don't have that window, you can find that right here, Retarget Manager. Save that. And now we can right-click this, Retarget, Reform Mannequin, that should be the ALS Skeleton, or the uh, Survival Game Kit Skeleton, sorry. Retarget, it should take a couple seconds. And that's all the animations done there. Retargeted. Step two, we will deal with the character blueprint. So you want to open up your survival game kit character blueprint. I'm just going to add the ladder component first off here. And to make it a little bit easier, you can simply just copy and paste from this character component character over here. We have all the inputs set up in orange and green for the interaction. Basically everything to do with the ladder here is in orange. So first you want to get your begin play. Copy this. This right here is just the UI display that displays the debug UI you'd see in the top left corner of the screen in the default project. That gives you all the stats and settings. So you can bring this over if you wanted, but it's not needed. It's just a debug. It's just a UI that helps let you know basically what exactly is happening. It saves a little bit of time when you're looking through some things sometimes. And we want to set this on the begin play event here, which would be in here. I didn't say that when I was quickly going into it. So that's our reference set to our character, our climbing component. Next, we will want to deal with inputs. So we're going to need to go to our project settings input axes ma mapping and i'm just going to make a new one called ladder up down w and s this right here is what we need to do because rob game kit has a different method of doing its forward and backward axes and even if we flip the axes it still doesn't like to send the correct values for some reason so an easier method to deal with that rather than rewriting that system would be to just do that. And now that we have that done, we can go back to our event graph, go to our inputs, and the rest of everything else we're going to be dealing with is in here. So first off, we're just going to come in here and get our check for on a ladder. Control C that to copy it. And for the forward axes, we're just going to paste that in right here. And if input is not blocked, then 
we will run this if we were we are not on the ladder. So I will just run our default movement if we're not on a ladder. And we can also set up the axis movement here. I'm just going to get rid of this so you can drag it out without not so right now this for example it's not controlling the nodes on the inside. And I'm going to paste this check again up here and run it through the same location after input is blocked. And I'm also going to get my ladder up down axes event. And I can just copy the both of these by holding alt I can drag and select multiple different things so now on the ladder we'll do the ladder movement and we'll just plug this in like that for now The next thing we're going to deal with is our right and left input. We're just going to copy this, check if we're on a ladder here, and paste it here. I'm just going to select this, hold Alt and select this, or Control, sorry. And I'm going to get rid of that so that I can... Actually, I'm just going to do this. Put this in here. And if we're not on a ladder, then the same thing down here. I'll leave this to you guys to clean up since it's not going to be too difficult to do. You just need to move it back into its proper location. Put that down into there and make some, make some space there. So that's the forward and backward axes done. And the left input axes. Okay, so this is where I went wrong here. Okay, this is the backward axes. We're gonna to wanna to check this all the way over here. I guess it doesn't matter too much. But I think we need the inputs for other special, specific things around the blueprints for survival game kit. And for here, we can just put that in. Got mixed up there because of the forward and then the right and then the backwards and then the left rather than forward and back. Left, right. Which is how I would have it set up to make them up. Just so it, people didn't run into issues like that right there without reading. So that's those two set up and everything there set up. And now all we need is the jump, sprint, and the interaction. So jump right here. This one should be pretty easy to deal with. If the ladder button is pressed. Or if the jump button is pressed, then we'll check if we're on a ladder. And if we are on a ladder, we'll disable ladder climbing. If not, we will just skip that. And there's jumping. And now sprinting. Which will only take a quick second. Copy this. Paste it in here. Break these by holding Alt and clicking on them, and plugging them in like that, and then we'll just run this over through and do our normal. We're not through there, sorry, from the false pin here. We'll run our normal sprinting so if we're not on a ladder then we will sprint normally and if we are on a ladder 
then we will do the ladder sprinting. And one more thing left here, and that's the interaction. So I'm just going to copy this, go back in the survival game kit, and the inputs, and where is the interaction? There it is, client interact right here, input action interact. And we'll just plug that in right there at the end. You just move that like that for some reason, it allows you to move this one again. And that is our ladder input setup. And there will still be some rotation issues, I believe. I'm just going to load up the demo map here. You can just come in here and set survival game kit mode, GK game mode. And yeah, you can see our rotation is messed up and we, oh yeah, we also have to set up our animation blueprint. So we'll set up the animation blueprint first. So open up our ladder climbing animation blueprint and go to the event graph. And survival game kit animations, third person. And event graph. The first thing we want here is, the only really thing we want here is this update data. And in our update item, we will paste that right there. And we'll just put that right in there. This two is pointless, it's just a name. You can name this whatever you want. It's just, it just, when you copy it and paste it, it makes it, it creates it into a two. And then right here, we need owning on. It's the naming he uses for his character reference. So owning pawn as the ladder component, we will, you know, that's valid. Then we'll set this, right click, create the variable and set that. Now let's save. Now we'll go into our anim graph. First thing I'm going to do is get this orange one right here with the ladder locomotion cache. And in our anim graph, just going to control V and paste that right here. And now I'm just going to grab these two in the orange, control C. Right down to the bottom, paste that, hold alt and click to break that link. Drag this in here, connect that to the output pose for the final pose. And this is our new final pose. And now we should have animations playing. We should have one more issue to fix, and that would be the rotation. I forgot in the project settings, if you didn't do this ladder input or S down, you want to change this to a negative value. So minus one and just double test that to make sure everything is working fine. There we go. Next step is to just set up the rotation, which is specific to survival game kit, because or any project that you would have this enabled, you would want to disable it when you're climbing on the ladder. And a simple way to do that is you just come into our blueprints in our ladder climbing system and open up the component here. And inside the component, we want to go to enter ladder function. And right over here near the end, we want to get our character reference. Use control rotation yaw. Set use control rotation yaw. You want to make sure it's the yaw value one. You're going to disable that on the enter ladder so that it's not controlling anymore. 
and we're going to copy this control C and disable ladder climbing. This is a work in progress, which will be added in later for the IK. We want to disable it here. Or you want to enable it here under disable ladder climbing. And this is specific to survival game kit. So now when we climb on the ladder. We're not rotating anymore. Okay. So that's going to be everything for this one. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. Or join our community Discord, where we'll answer them there for you. Uh, so that'll be everything. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.